Hey Capricorn, my name is Crystal. I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys, a general reading, and I'm going to pull some cards from each one of my decks I already did. Um, I was stuttering a lot in my last of my videos. I don't know why today I cannot focus, but um, I'm going to keep the same cards because I feel like it's a good message, okay? Okay, so you have soulmates. Alright, so right now, I feel like whatever situation that you're in, you're either in, in like in touch with your soulmate or you're going to be soon, okay? You have happy, happy. Right now, is, um, I feel like this is you searching for your happiness. Only reason why I say that is because of all the cards. All the cards that are down here, you got forbidden individuality, two of swords, five of cups, five of wands, work through your fears, the end of a tough cycle approaches, and expect powerful change, and then yin. This just says, you know what I mean, you've asked and, you know, you've prayed and stuff like this and you did all the stuff that you needed to do. Now is the time to kind of sit back and wait and see what happens. Now is the time to take no action and just allow the universe to kind of come in and take control over the situation. Because you're right now, you're conflicted. You don't even know what you want right now. You're, you're at a point where, like, you know you need to make a decision, but you're not. Because you're, like, really conflicted on the inside. Like, you, you don't know if you should, you don't know if you shouldn't. This could be with love, career, family, you know jobs, anything. It could be about moving. It could be about anything. You know what I mean? I do see with the five of cups, you're, you're feeling lost. Like not lost, but sad over a loss. Sad of maybe even working through your fears. Maybe you're fearing some, losing somebody or losing something, right? So it's like you're really hard. You, you don't want to make this decision because you're afraid that you're going to lose someone. All right. You got individuality and forbidden. Like, whatever situation that you're going through right now is, like, the forbidden card is, like, the universe telling you no, all right? And they talk about, like, whispering in other people's ears, that they whisper in other people's ears to make it not come through because they don't want you to do this anymore. So they don't allow, you know, certain situations to unfold for you because they don't want it. It's forbidden. It's no longer any, it's no longer serving you. You have individuality, okay? This is just saying be you no matter what, like... Don't try to like fit into anything and try to be other somebody than other somebody other than what you're not. No, don't try to be anybody else than what you are. <laughs> okay, I feel like as long as you know, you gotta find, you gotta love yourself for you. Expect powerful change. I do feel like there's a big change coming up. It might not be one that you want, especially with the forbidden card. Um, work through your fears. So if things are like, if you're scared to talk, if you're scared to like make any take any kind of actions or any kind of movements or something like that it's like you know what i mean you have to work through those fears because if you just keep on staying stuck you're always going to feel the same you have an end of a tough cycle approaches all right this is capricorn you came in your own reading then you got scorpio so i don't know if you're dealing with a scorpio or you know it's just energy it doesn't matter if you are or not what are you struggling over making this decision over? Yeah, the moon. You got fears again. You definitely are very fearful about losing someone or something, okay, with the moon. But the six of pentacles tells me, like, somebody is not taking care of you. Somebody's not taking care of the situation. And you're sad because there's no balance. Like, you're putting in a lot, you feel. Or one person's putting in a lot, the other one isn't. You got the nine of cups. Which is a wish granted card. This is also a card about like soulmates. And then you got soulmate right here with the little penguins. Right? So I do feel like this might be involving um, a soulmate. So this could be a love rhythm. But it could also mean just something that you're very connected, connected to. Like could be a career, a job, you know, anything like that. The hangman in reverse. It's kind of like standing up for yourself now. You know what I mean? No longer being stagnant. Like you want things moving. The hangman in reverse. The hangman regular is about like being stagnant and nothing moving, but it's upside down in reverse. So this just tells me like you're ready to start making a move on things, right? <clears throat> the four of pentacles. Somebody's holding on. Somebody's holding on and doesn't want to let go. Feeling very stuck, okay? But the king of swords and the ace of cups are right here. This is just saying, you know, the universe wants you to see clear. They want you to work through your fears. Stop being fearful of the outcome. Stop being fearful of what's not going to work. Stop being fearful of what can work. Just go ahead and start doing it. This is also a card about cutting people out of your lives that no longer serve you. And then the last card is the ace of cups. So it's like everything is going to wind up working out for you. All right, this is a new start for you. It could be a new love, a new start in love. You know what I mean? I feel like you are wishing for like a better, <clears throat> everybody does, 
a better start, right? It's funny because like I'm I'm noticing the things like the, the third one of this one is happy happy, then this one is individuality, just being yourself. The last one expect powerful change. The last one ace of cups. So this just tells me in the end all of this is gonna start working out for you. I, you just have to know what doors to open and what doors not to open and what doors to close, okay? Because, like, if you stay stuck in a situation where you're not happy, if you stay stuck, yeah, then, you know what I mean, it's just always going to be like that. So, yeah, that's what I got for you guys. Sorry, you know, it wasn't any better, but, you know, things will work out for you. There is a decision that needs to be made, though, and it's not being made. It's a decision over fairness, all right, you have to open your eyes and realize, like, is this meant for me? Is this okay for me to keep on going through? You know what I mean? I feel like you do have a decision. I don't know what it's about. But you're afraid to make this decision because you're afraid to lose something. So that's what I got for you guys. Thank you for watching. And, yeah, toodles.